Welcome to English 9, Unchanging Values in the Book of World, featuring the text Beowulf, Summary by Ben Plorman, Quarter 2, Week 6. I am Mr. Nelpon Sambalod and I am your teacher for this course. Look at the image and its label. You're highly correct. It's Beowulf. And that is the next literary text that we are going to tackle. And to start, let us have learning task one. In order to know if you already have knowledge about the literary masterpiece Beowulf, read each statement carefully and determine whether each given statement is true or false. Write your answers in your notebook or you join me answering the activity. Number one, King Rothgar built a mid hall called Herod. Is it, is it true or false? Correct, it's true. Number two, jubilant noise and celebration angered Grendel. True or false? It's true again. Number three, Beowulf was a warrior from Jitland. It's a triple true. Number four, Anfert was the political advisor of King Rothgar. True or false? It's true again. Number five, Grendel died because of a leg injury. I won't give you the answer, for I would like you to verify it in the video that I shared in our Google Classroom, as well as in the text that we are about to read. Number six, Grendel's mother sought revenge against Beowulf. True or false? It is true. Okay, number seven, Grendel's mother killed Beowulf. True or false? Okay, that is true. Number eight, Beowulf became king after King Hygelac was killed in a battle. True or false? Again, you confirm it in the video that I shared to you as well as in the text that we are about to read. Number nine, the dragon killed Beowulf. True or false? True. And lastly, Wiglop was Beowulf's most trusted companion. True or false? It's true again, out to the last number. So, okay, we are done on learning task one. Let's continue. I do believe that you're done watching the animated video movie, Beowulf. But let's go to the details. So, we will be reading the text itself. Beowulf, summary by Ben Plorma. The following is a narrative summary of the epic Beowulf, a literary work considered to be the most famous literary writing of old English literature. It tells the heroic deeds of Beowulf, who rescued the Danes from the monster Grendel and his mother. Fifty years later, Beowulf died saving his own people, the Jeets, from a fire breathing dragon. The anonymous poet who wrote the epic captured the spirit of Germanic tribal life and language. Beowulf, summary by Ben Plorman. So you do not have there the text, but instead the image of Beowulf himself and a monster. That monster could be Grendel himself, the first one killed by Beowulf, or it can be Grendel's mother who was killed next by Beowulf, or it can be the dragon that was killed last by Beowulf. And you have there the arms. The word arm is very important as you hear the word Beowulf or the title of the text Beowulf because Beowulf used his arm on defeating Grendel. And, of course, Grendel's arm was detached when he fought Beowulf. So let's find out as we go on reading the text. Hrothgar is the king of the Danes in southern Denmark. Through success in battle, he has become rich and mighty. As a symbol of his power and prosperity, he builds a magnificent mid-hall called Herod, in which he and his loyal warriors can face, drink, pose, and listen to the tales of the shops, the Anglo-Saxon bards. But soon after Herod is finished, the mirth of the man and the music of the shop anger Grendel, a monster descended from Cain. Grendel raids the hall, snatching men and eating them, then returns to his home in the marsh. He repeats his nightly raids until no one dares sleep in the hall. 
Herod wants the symbol of the Sildings' greatness is now a place of shame and terror. This continues for 12 years until Beowulf, a young warrior of the Jeets in southern Sweden, hears about Grendel and determined to fight the monster, sails to Rotgar's lands with 15 companions. Rothgar, who knew Beowulf's father is Egyptio, accepts Beowulf's offer to fight Grendel and gives him a fist. Though Beowulf and Anfurt, a warrior loyal to Rothgar, exchange insults. That night, the warrior sleeps in Herald. With Beowulf keeping watch, Grendel arrives and consumes one of the warriors, then reaches for Beowulf. Beowulf, Famous for his powerful grip, which is as strong as the grip of 30 men, struggles with Grendel, tearing up the monster's shoulder and arm. Grendel returns to the fence to die. His arm is hanged as a trophy under the roof of Herod. Rothgar gives a second fist to celebrate Beowulf's victory. At the feast, Rothgar generously rewards Beowulf with treasure. The show sings again, and Beowulf is praised until nightfall. That night, Grendel's mother comes to the hall from her home at the bottom of a lake, seeking revenge for the death of her son. She grabs Ashir, a favorite warrior and advisor of Rothgar's, and consumes him, then returns home. In the morning, the warriors follow her tracks to her lake, where they see Ashir's head. Beowulf enters the lake and swims for hours before reaching her cave at the bottom. He fights with Grendel's mother, but the sword Ronting, which Anfert lent to Beowulf in a sign of fellowship, fails for the first time. From the treasure hoard in the cave, Beowulf seizes a sword forged long ago by giants and kills Grendel's mother. He sees Grendel's body and removes the head and takes it and the hilt of the giant's sword. The blade melted and contact with the monster's blood back to Rotgar. There is another celebration in Herod with more gifts and promises of friendship. Rothgar says he feels like Beowulf is his son and weeps at Beowulf's departure. Beowulf and his men return to Jitland, the land of the Jits, where his uncle, the king Hygelok, and Hygelok's queen HYG greet Beowulf, accepting the treasure Beowulf gives them. And in turn, rewarding Beowulf with a sword, praise, and land, Hygelok is eventually killed by the Swedes, his son, Herdred, though young, takes the throne with Beowulf's support. At Herdred's death, Beowulf takes the throne of the Jeets and rules in great prosperity and fame for 50 years. In Beowulf's old age, a thief finds a passageway into an old barrow. Inside the dragon guards, a treasure trove left there long ago by the last survivor of an extinct people. The thief steals a cup, but the dragon discovers the theft and burns the land, including Beowulf's mid-hall. Beowulf, knowing his death is near, decides to fight the dragon. Accompanied by his kinsmen, Wegla, ten warriors, and the thief, Beowulf sets out to confront the dragon. But when Beowulf and the dragon fight, all of Beowulf's men flee except Wegla. With Wegla's help, Beowulf kills the dragon, but not before he himself is terribly wounded. Before he dies, Beowulf tells Wiglop to rule after him and to build him a funeral barrow that overlooks the sea. Wiglop chastises the men for abandoning their lord. A messenger sent to tell the Jeets of Beowulf's death also warns of hard times for the Jeets. Now that Beowulf is dead, the Jeet build a pyre and cremate Beowulf, then construct a barrow overlooking the sea, burying the dragon's cursed treasure with him. Let's have the summary of the text through the photos that we have also in the previous slide. So by just having them, we can summarize the excerpt Beowulf. So the first image, you have their King Rothgar, who seems to be problematic. And indeed, he's problematic because he's being attacked continuously by Grendel for 12 years already, leading to the fading of Herod's glory or shine. So you have there again. Uh, King Rothgar, who
who's really really sad on what he is experiencing and of course the next image you have there Beowulf the arrival of Beowulf in his kingdom wherein through his presence King Rotgar exhibits the exhibits the flexibility for he's very much willing to try the idea of Beowulf that he would be defeating Grendel through his arm okay so you have there uh, Beowulf the second image and, and at, at the same time you have the Beowulf's speed the rapidly grasping new idea because when he fought Grendel he realized that he couldn't defeat him by using his sword for it's no it's no match that's why he decided to make use of his arm so you have there the speed okay in the nine dimensions or behavior patterns and at the same time the information gathering for Beowulf gathered gathered ideas or information on how he can defeat Grendel. The third image, after the battle with Grendel, you knew that Grendel died, he went home, and of course you have there the mother, so it's it's like the Lapieta, the mother and child, but actually you have there Grendel's mother who's weeping uh, regarding the death of her son Grendel. So you have there the what? The you have here the performance risk taking. Performance risk taking, it can be like that because uh, the mother of Grendel is now taking the challenge, taking the challenge of revenge, of having the revenge for her son. Okay? So that's the third image. So the mother crying, weeping, lamenting on the death of her son Grendel and at the same time, uh, performance risk taking for she's planning to take revenge by herself so taking on challenges okay and next we have the next image there you have the uh, Beowulf returning to Jitland offering the gifts given by King Rothgard to Hygelac and HYGD the King Hygelac's wife so we can we can tell that it is an example of what? It is an example of collaborating. So acknowledging, leveraging the skill of others because Beowulf is being being appraised for defeating Grendel. Okay? Then we have here we have here uh, the dragon. The dragon. Okay. So the dragon attacked so after 50 years now Beowulf is the king then all of a sudden there's a dragon there's a dragon that attacked the the kingdom of Beowulf and is able to find it out through the feedback through the feedback uh, or through the gathered information from the thief that there's a dragon's lair okay then of course uh, you have the Beowulf reflecting, reflecting, reflecting on what he's going to do, on how he's going to defeat the dragon, okay? Then we have there the last image, you have there the death of Beowulf. Of course, the funeral was led by Wiglop, yes, and Wiglop shows there the, the what? The the reflect the what what uh, dimension or behavior pattern is shown by we uh, by by wiglop we have here the flexibility because beowulf king king beowulf requested him to be the next king and he accepted it so flexibility willingness to try new things then when he imposed to chastise the the man of Beowulf who didn't help them that is what speed rapidly grasping new ideas on how on how he can uh, pan, uh, punish the punish the soldiers the warriors who didn't help them okay so that's the summary of that's the summary of Beowulf so you have the the beginning having King Rotgar King Rotgar 
then the ending uh, May Wolf's death and Wiglops being the king so the story is divided into three battles actually so I hope you better understood the story as we discuss this Beowulf summary and incorporating it to the nine dimensions or behavioral or behavior patterns okay so let us proceed to the next slide actually we will have the questions for us to better understand the story learning task two having read the epic Beowulf answer the following questions number one why did Beowulf decide to free the Danes from Grendel? Beowulf decided to free the Danes from Grendel because he wanted to pay back the favor made by King Rothgar to his father when he was still young, when he was still baby, because uh, King Rothgar helped the father of Beowulf, Egyptio, when he was when he had a fight with a tribe. Okay, number two. Why did Beowulf fight Grendel with his bare hands? What does this reveal about his character? Beowulf fought Grendel with his bare hands because he gathered information. He already gathered information on what is the best way of defeating Grendel. And he found out that Grendel couldn't be harmed by any weapon made of metal. Even though it was forged a long time ago, still Grendel has... Um, has a, a magic against it that's why he decided to make use of his uh, mighty grip so what does it reveal about his character he's intelligent he's he's intelligent he's all-knowing or he's witty okay so he's a good leader studying the case before what studying the situation before before dealing with it okay knowing what's the problem and what's the core problem and how to resolve it okay so it reveals that Beowulf is a good leader for his possessing a strong mind okay then number three why was it harder for Beowulf to kill Grendel's mother than Grendel himself so it was harder for Beowulf to kill Grendel's mother because the fight happened in the water and it's given that what that grendel's mother grendel's mother was what was a sea monster okay grendel's mother was an underwater swamp sort of monster that's why uh beowulf had difficulty fighting against her or grendel's mother and the last question what were the qualities deeply esteemed by the people of those times? Would those qualities be equally esteemed in our times? So the qualities, uh, the qualities deeply esteemed by the people of those times are being honest, generous, courageous, etc. Or those characteristics that can be considered noble. And remember, Beowulf is an epic hero. And one of the characteristics being possessed by an epic hero is the so-called nobility of character. Okay, so would those qualities be equally esteemed in our times? Should be. Would those qualities be equally esteemed in our times? Should be. Because if those qualities will be highly esteemed or deeply esteemed by the people nowadays, then we will be living in harmony then we will be living at peace no one's going to take advantage of one another of someone else okay that's the good thing if those qualities will be equally esteemed in our times okay so those are the answers under learning task two learning task three Analyze the characters in the epic Beowulf by providing significant information about them and relating them to the present time. So we have here the table and it has three columns. First column, character. Second column, significant details about the character. Third column, representation of the character in the present society. So in the first column, we have the following characters. Beowulf, King Rothgar, Grendel, Grendel's mother, Wiglop, Dragon. So I'm going to have Wiglop as an example. Significant details about the character Wiglop. Wiglop is is a true warrior, a true friend of Beowulf, who didn't uh, leave him 
during during Beowulf's fight or during their fight against the dragon. Then, what's the representation of the character in the present society? Wiglaf uh, represents uh, those friends of ours who are not Mayweather friends, who are not just friends during good times, but also friends during bad times. Okay? So, someone whom we can really rely on. Okay? Wiglaf. So, Wiglaf, uh, that would be the representation of Wiglaf in our present society. People whom can we rely on, not just, or people whom can we have, not just during good times, but even in bad times, okay? So, for Beowulf, King Rodgar, Grendel, the dragon, and Grendel's mother, you would be accomplishing this table. So, check the Google Classroom, look for the Google Form link so that you can deal with this activity. Let's proceed. Learning Task 4. With the characters mentioned in Learning Task 3, decide whether the points below are observable in the given epic or not. Cite an instance that would illustrate the indicated behavior pattern. Write your answers in your notebook. So, we already discussed this. I already discussed this to you. The nine dimensions, nine dimensions or behavior patterns. So, flexibility, speed, experimenting, performance risk-taking, interpersonal risk taking collaborating information gathering feedback seeking and reflect and reflecting so you will be reminding yourselves you will be reviewing yourselves regarding the said dimensions or behavior pattern so that you can accomplish the next table so let's proceed to the day to the table okay this is the table for learning task 4. So, it has three columns. Character, Beowulf, King Rotgar, Grendel, Grendel's mother, Wiglop, and the dragon. Then, behavior pattern. Then, the evidence, state a scene or instance. So, what are you going to do? For example, Wiglop. Then, what's the behavioral pattern? You, you choose from the nine dimension or behavioral patterns. Then, you're going to provide a justification, a line or two coming from the text. So, you need to go back to the details of the text excerpt Beowulf so that you can accomplish this column. But if you really listen to my lecture, to my discussion, there's a portion in my discussion that I already, already pinpointed the following, the following behavioral patterns for the given characters. Okay, so only I think only one or two characters not mentioned but mostly of them already tackled so you just go back to that certain slide or portion of the lecture video where you will be guided on how to accomplish this uh, slide or this task okay so let's go on thank you I hope that you have learned a lot. Enjoy accomplishing our activities. Good day and God bless.